A very good evening. Today we are going to discuss the topic of naturalism. So in the teaching philosophy, when we talk about teaching and we talk about the philosophy, there are various type of philosophies. And the first one that we're going to discuss here is naturalism. So, you know, in teaching, there is a very close relationship with various kind of philosophies where we focus on different ideas, where we focus on different uh, ways of imparting education to the children. Now, here, what does this theory speak? Let us discuss about that. Okay, so naturalism stories, uh, the theory says that here, as the name suggests, naturalism, here we focus on that everything is centered around nature. So how education should be imparted? Education should be imparted in close proximity to nature. So here you will find in this theory that nature is also termed as materialism. So what should be man's focus? Man's focus should be that if you are finding about knowledge, you are finding about truth, where are you going to find that truth? You are going to find that truth in the nature and one more thing about naturalism theory is that it does not believe in spiritualism or you can say supernaturalism this theory is more focused upon investigating the truth of nature by scientific methods so that the man can uh, investigate the truth with all his abilities with all the capacity that he has so here in the naturalism theory, the focus is on the nature that nature is everything. Nature is in every field of education and on the concept of existence of God. The theory of naturalism does not believe in it because it is uh, it gives importance to the matter. It is giving importance to the physical matter and this nature that it talks about puri the whole complete philosophy over here that talks about nature and this nature is everything and the source of learning now when you're studying about naturalism and who are the major protagonists of this naturalism theory is jj russo so this name you have to remember jj russo is one of the major protagonists of this theory of naturalism the other when you're talking about we have uh, aristotle we have bacon we have darwin these are some Tagore, even Rabindranath Tagore. They are said to be the famous pioneers in the theory of naturalism. So naturalism, uh, as you can see, uh, as per Hawking, as per Adam, what have been naturalism and they have provided a very different definition of naturalism is where Hawking says it is a metaphysics and where it's considered nature is the complete reality. On the other hand, Adam, when he talks about nature, naturalism, it is a term that is loosely applied in education theory to the system of training that are not dependent on school and books. So how we are learning? We are learning by engaging with nature. There are a lot of things to learn in nature. Coming to forms of naturalism, in forms of naturalism, you will find there are various forms. Atomistic naturalism, scientific naturalism is there. Then there is mechanical naturalism and historical naturalism. Where we have further classified scientific naturalism into physical and biological. Let us see an objective type question here based on the theory of naturalism. So the question is, who classifies all human activities into five and assigns a place to each of them in the curriculum? And here if we talk about the options given here are Herbert Spencer, Aristotle, Plato and Darwin. This theory of when the theory that we are talking about is it's given by Herbert Spencer, where he talks about the five activities and he also assigns them in the order of the priority. So the correct option over here would be option A. Thank you.